All right, before we move any further, we're going to have to talk a little bit about Christianity. Uh, I'm going to put a little blurb. This is kind of like a one-paragraph answer to as to what uh, Christians believe their own history is. And I'm not going to make the claim that it's in any way correct because I believe that these are highly inaccurate. But to understand the later Roman Empire and eventually the medieval age, you're going to need to know the self-perception that Christians hold for themselves. So around the time that Jesus of Nazareth was born, there were many faiths and sects in the Roman Empire. Within 400 years, Christianity became dominant. The Jewish people believed that Messiah would be born to lead them. At the time that Jesus of Nazareth was born, Judea was suffering under Roman rule. At about the age of 30, Jesus began publicly teaching, and it is said that he performed miracles such as healing. Jewish authorities accused him of blasphemy, and he was tried before the Roman governor, Pontius Pilate, and he was crucified, but his followers reported seeing him alive after his death. That is their story. Now let's talk a little bit about some impact. This story formed the basis of a new faith, breaking with old Jewish traditions, and founded uh, by supposedly his closest disciples and apostles. It gradually spread uh, amongst both exiled Jews and non-Jews throughout the Roman world. Early followers taught that Christianity was open to anyone who chose to be baptized. By CE 300, it had spread to Egypt, Aksum, Syria, Armenia, Anatolia, Greece, Rome, France, Britain, and India. Christians kept their faith quietly because the Roman authorities were, uh, persecuted them and caused many of them to go into hiding. Many died a painful death in the arena. In Egypt, a group of Christians withdrew to the desert to live as hermits. They were the first uh, monks. Uh, state religion. Uh, religious persecutions in the Roman Empire were halted when Emperor Constantine recognized Christianity in CE 313. Later, it became the official state religion. Constantine called the first council of all bishops at Nicaea, urging them to resolve their differences and write them down in one doctrine, the Nicene Creed. Politically, he saw the church as a way to bring new life to his empire. His actions defined Christianity, greatly affecting Europe and eventually most of the rest of the world. It also meant that the ideas of some of the teachers were outlawed as heresies, and this led to the disappearance of many aspects of faith. It also led to the death or exile of those who disagreed with the doctrine. The Gnostic Egyptians, Celtic, and Nestorian churches were examples of branches that eventually died out, although the Nestorians journeyed to Persia and as far as China to prevent this.